I learned how to say like Macklemore yesterday. Pussy. Don't be a pussy. This sculpture right here is what happens when you have your Japanese cousin sleep over. I woke up to this. It's not even how you properly assemble Jenga, let alone there's no drumstick involved. Thanks for the art, Sean. What's up everybody? So today you're gonna learn a lot more about me, I think. I haven't read the questions on this tag I'm about to do. It's called the TMI tag, the too much information tag. 50 questions on here, I know you're like, oh my god, I don't wanna watch 50 questions. I'm gonna get bored. Probably. <laughs> I'm gonna answer them as fast as I can. Let's get right into it, here's the TMI tag. One, what are you wearing? Well, <laughs> So I do this thing when I film videos where as long as I'm like at least put together from the waist up, you guys think I got my life put together. I'm actually wearing, um, I'm wearing Roots sweatpants. These are salt and pepper. I'm wearing a Quicksilver button up. Like a friend of mine gave me this shirt and it's like, bombastic. Got a Vancouver Grizzlies uh, snapback on, old school. What kind of underwear? And this kind of underwear. Joe Boxer, it's like a Canadian thing. It's all Canadian terms and slang and stereotypes. That's what I got on. Ever been in love? Yeah, I've been in love. Ever had a terrible breakup? Uh, no, not terrible. I hate drama. How tall are you? I tell the ladies that I'm 6'1", but I think I'm I'm six feet. But I'm two and a half feet lying down, know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kidding, that was a boner joke. How much do you weigh? 175 last time I checked. 175, 180. I'm a heavy motherfucker. That's not that heavy for a guy with these nuts. <laughs> Okay, I'm making way too many sexual jokes already. We're only on number five. Let's, let's keep it together here, Dan. Any tattoos? Mm, no, not yet. Any piercings? No, no, no piercings. OTP. What the f is OTP? What is OTP? Okay, I've just Googled OTP. OTP, I don't know why I sound like that. It stands for one true pairing or one time password. Uh, one true pairing would have to 100% be me and Margot Robbie. Favorite show, Malcolm in the Middle. Every time I watch that show, I laugh my ass off because I've got three brothers as well. Favorite bands, Blink and 1975 for sure. Something you miss. I miss being a kid where you just go out on bike rides for like 10 hours with your friends and just come back at the end of the day and just not worry about anything. Those are the days I miss, the old days. Favorite song, Adam song by Blink-182. And also, I really love the song, Every Breath You Take. Every breath you pussy. What? That's not how it goes. How old are you? 24, but mentally, I'm 17. And reading level, I'm two. No, I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I can read like a 36 year old, whatever, whatever the fuck that means. Zodiac sign, Capricorn. Quality you look for in a partner. She's gotta have humor and she's gotta be loyal. Favorite quote. Funny enough, I've got two magnets on my fridge, and one of those is my favorite quote, and one of them is a picture of a cow <laughs> from Texas, I don't know. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams, live the life you've imagined, because I'm a firm believer in going after what you wanna do. Favorite actor, Leonardo DiCaprio. He's great. Favorite color, yellow. Loud music or soft? I would prefer to do loud music, but now that I live in a condo, it's kinda tough to do that. Gets you like, in the music mode. Just like, mm, 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 mm. Wow, that was oddly impressive for my beatboxing skills. How long does it take you to shower? Honestly, guys, last night I showered probably in under two minutes. Just because I had gel in my hair, I wanted to get it out before bed. Um, but if I've got nothing to do, it's like a weekend morning, I'll shower for like 10 minutes. 10, 12 minutes. Scrub, scrub everywhere. I mean, it takes me 10 minutes alone to scrub these nuts. <laughs> this is enough, enough of these these nuts jokes. I'm, I'm really trying, guys. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? I shower and then I get dressed. <laughs> Maybe 20 minutes max to get ready. Ever been in a physical fight? Yes, once. Turn on somebody that is, that is very, uh, very kind. And also, like a nice ass. <laughs> Honestly, if this is the TMI tag, I'm gonna be real with you guys. If they got a nice booty, booty, turn off anybody that has an ego larger than their hand. <laughs> is that a thing? I've, I've had conversations with people where they, I've got this, this feeling that they feel like they're better than you or that they're kind of wasting their time talking to you or that they're bitchy. Just all those traits are just nasty. And honestly, she can be the hottest girl in the world but if she's a bitch, it, physically I don't view her as attractive anymore. The reason I joined YouTube, I wanted to, I knew I wanted to be like a personality of some sort, whether it was on TV or on the internet. Keep in mind, I started doing YouTube like eight years ago. Like I started right when YouTube was kind of starting. It was just a way to show people around the world, my friends, anywhere I was, content that I was creating. It, I don't know. 
I feel like I've said four different answers. I don't know. Fears. Spider. Fear of failing. Ending up alone. I think we all kind of have that fear of ending up alone. My biggest fear is like being over 30 and on Tinder. The last thing that made you cry. I don't remember the last time I cried, honestly. Occasionally I'll go back and I'll watch my How to Deal with Death video where I talk about uh, my situation with my dog. Uh, and the reason I do that is because that was a very personal video to me, uh, basically how I felt at the time. So occasionally I'll go back and watch that and might shed a tear once, but um, I don't know. I don't know the last thing that made me cry. Meaning behind your YouTube name. The Danocracy, I basically wanted a name with no numbers, something that looks cool on a t-shirt, uh, incorporated my name with a different word. I don't know. It was just kind of a, a word that sounded cool. It was a new word. Last book you read, it was, uh, I went to Alcatraz two summers ago. Bought this book, never really got around to reading the whole thing. So I finally read the whole thing. It's actually signed on the inside by the uh, this guy right here, who's an actual inmate at Alcatraz. The book you're currently reading. We're being honest here, I'm not reading a book currently. It's not a, a hobby of mine, personally. I'm not the type to go to a, a library and pick out four books and be like, ooh, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna curl up and read. I'd rather go out and bike or, or hang out with friends than do that. Last show you watched, Bates Motel. Last person you talked to, Jason. My boy Jason, who will school anybody at N64. The relationship between you and the person you last texted. Uh, one of my really good friends, Taylor. The relationship between her and I, we've been friends for many, many years now. She's one of the very few people that I can uh, tell how I'm feeling and she'll still be my friend for it. She's very supportive of my YouTube stuff. She's just an overall great friend of mine, so that would be Taylor. Favorite food? Sushi, burritos, progies. Place you want to visit? Australia. Last place you were? Greece. Locally, I was over, I was at a club last night called Orchid. Do you have a crush? Yeah, I would say I have a crush. Last time you kissed someone was, was last week. Yeah! Favorite flavor of sweet? Swedish berries. <laughs> what instruments do you play? I play drums and I play piano the most. I also play guitar. Favorite piece of jewelry? Um, okay, here we go. I got this. This was the first purchase I made with uh, YouTube money. Not that I'm flaunting YouTube money or anything. I was very proud. It took me a while to earn that much. Um, was this this gold necklace which I always wear and there's a cross on the end I'm not gonna get in religion at all topic I choose to avoid completely because I know everybody's different I think we all have our own belief systems and I respect everybody for theirs so the last sport you played the last sport that I played was Football last song you sang Pussy, I love you always forever near and far closer together everywhere I will be with you everything I will be for you. I love you always Favorite chat up line? I tend to just use my natural charm. Last time you hung out with anyone? Last night I hung out with a bunch of people from this award show. Who should answer these questions next? You. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys can follow me on Instagram, at Danocracy, where if you guys creep my photos, you might learn a little bit more about me. You guys can follow me on Twitter, at the Danocracy. You guys can ask me questions that weren't on this list, and I'll try my best to answer them if they aren't too vulgar or up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.